All right, we're gonna take the speed machine for. Oh, I can tell this thing's a bit of a mess. Fix that. I think. I don't want to close those doors. I don't know if they auto lock or whatever. I don't know how to work any of this shit. It's easy, they say. Oh well, yeah, it is pretty easy. But I think this thing's rocking all like I don't know, 120 horsepower. But it weighs like nothing. It's a master two. Not nearly as cool as a master three, but it'll do. All right, I haven't even left the driveway, and I'm like bouncing around on these freaking brakes. The suspension's kind of bouncy, this thing. But you know, it's just it's a very light car with awesome brakes. Good pickup too for a little car, but you know, it's it's no uh, horsepower king, especially with that auto. I really wish you got the five speed. That would just be so much quicker. And these cars are actually pretty fun. I got to admit, they do kind of they handle well up there. You look how boaty that is. It's like yeah. yeah. I've seen some people take these on autocross, it's like hilarious. I guess if you put some suspension in them, they'd probably kick some ass. Alright, off to the washing machine and oh, let's let that thing go. Oh, she's purring. That wasn't even recording, I just slammed on the brakes and everything went flying. I apologize, I was just trying to show off the brakes do actually work pretty well. Like one of the best brakes ever, because this car only weighs like 2,000 pounds or something. It's light as stink. Alright, on the highway power. Look at her go. She actually gets pretty noisy. <laughs> All right, well, get you going, kinda. Oh, and look who's back. It's Mr. Sun, Mr. Sunshine. I like that guy. This thing handles pretty well, but the whole body lean thing, like, holy stink, that is just goofed. I can't believe how much this thing leans in the corners. It's almost scary. I guess I'm just not used to it, because I'm used to, you know, sports cars. I'm not used to whatever the hell a Mazda 2 is, subcompact. No, I'm gonna have to wait for this guy. Anyway, we're at the car wash. Okay, we're there, just washing the ground. Maybe they have all the pumps turned on. That would be cool, I'd get free water. Or free soap and stuff. All right, let's do this. And it's so quiet, I can't even tell if it's running. Like seriously, 500 RPM idle. Run a bucket full of stuff back there to actually wash it properly. Do that now, show me. This will be called the time lapse. Before I wash some car. My bucket full of shit. Wow, I was just thinking for a mess. I don't think it's ever been washed. It's got the grimy green stuff on it already. Nasty. Compare it to like this side. Which is actually white again. Win-win. It looks much better. Yes, it does. I beg my pardon, you got the crusty fellas on your... dusty fellas. Oh, the road again. Let's this thing start up. So freaking quiet, I can't believe that. I'm just not used to new cars. Anything newer than like, I don't know, 1990. That's a problem. Oh, burnouts! Oh, I think it's thing has traction control, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's take a little drive down uh, good old farm road here. And I'll just show you the difference in color. I just gotta clean the inside of this thing, and we'll be good to go. This thing has literally never been washed. So I think this is like a 2013. Used to be gray and brown and like muddy shit color, and I was white again. And I'll take it back home and I'll clean the wheels there just because it makes a lot of mess. But that's a speed demon right there, the Mazda 2. Watch out, folks. I was packing some meats out back, 185 tires by like, I don't know, what is that, like 13, 14 inch? Like they're pretty freaking small. Everything about this car is just small and light and nimble. And now I can't, I can't get the windows to work. Fuck. Okay, that one's working. Oh, okay. You pull back and they go up. Now that's something. Usually it's forward and like every other car ever made, but not today. <laughs> Alright guys, I've had enough fun now, uh, you know, gooning around and doing some huge drifts with the uh, Mazda 2. It's, you know, it's a drift car. So thanks for watching and keep watching. And don't buy one of these unless you're like my mom or someone and just needs to get around. But overall, a good car actually handles pretty good too. I just took it through some twisties and you know I was going right to the speed limit and it handled it fine. So good car, great got gas mileage, light, nimble, safe. What else do you need? Maybe a five speed. Bye bye. Oh shit my battery is about to die.